Hi, I'm Caitlin Steppen. I'm one of the uh, Head and Neck Fellows here at WashU, along with my co-fellow Craig. Uh, I did my residency training at Mount Sinai in New York, and next year I'm headed to Chicago to be part of the Northwestern Head and Neck faculty. Um, I've had a truly fantastic year here. We have six Head and Neck faculty and five microsurgeons, which has really made for um, a robust and versatile training experience. We've had access to pretty much every variety of flap you can imagine, as well as TLM and both the SI and SP robot. Um, there's also plenty of exposure to advanced full base if that's something that you're interested in. Uh, I would say by the end of the year, Craig and I will each have around 100, 120 flaps and 30 plus robot cases. Um, and presumably those numbers would be doubled um, with just one fellow. So overall, um, we really love it here. We're excited to meet you guys. And of course, if you have any questions or want to talk about any aspects of the program further, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out. Welcome, everyone. I'm Ryan Jackson, one of the head and neck surgeons at Washington University here in St. Louis. Thank you for your interest in our program. I've been here for about five years now. I did my residency in Tampa, Florida with Moffitt Cancer Center and did my fellowship at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester. And I've been here, like I said, for about five years and uh, focused mainly on transoral robotic surgery and microvascular free flap reconstruction, uh, but also take care of most other things uh, relating to head and neck surgery. We have a very busy practice. We have six head and neck oncologists uh, and five of us uh, currently participate in microvascular reanastomosis. So you'll have a broad experience as well as a high volume of free flap surgery here at WashU, as well as a high transoral surgery uh, experience, both with transoral robotic surgery and transoral laser microsurgery. At Washington University, we have a long and rich legacy of surgical innovation, treatment, and research in head and neck cancer. And that continues to today. We have six busy, high volume, and well-experienced surgeons in our division and treat the entire breadth of head and neck pathology. Trainees here get extensive exposure to both open approaches to head and neck cancer as well as minimally invasive approaches, such as transoral robotic surgery, transoral laser microsurgery, and endoscopic skull base. From a reconstructive standpoint, we perform over 200 free flaps each year of a wide variety, including an extensive array of regional pedicled flaps and local flaps. Trainees come away from this program feeling exceptionally competent and well-trained to carry out all aspects of head and neck ablation and reconstruction. Also a unique aspect of our fellowship is a true multidisciplinary clinic in which patients are able to see a surgical oncologist, a radiation oncologist, a medical oncologist, all in one setting, and then are discussed at a multidisciplinary tumor board. From a research standpoint, we have multiple NIH-funded surgeon scientists with basic science labs, as well as a national renowned outcomes researcher and abundant clinical research opportunities. My name is Sid Purim. I'm one of the head and neck and microvascular reconstructive attendings. I did my residency at Mass Eye and Ear and my fellowship at the James Cancer Center at Ohio State, where I was lucky to have exposure to over 200 flaps. My practice today is fairly similar to what I saw in fellowship, which is basically any real aspects of head and neck cancer, including advanced ablation in the form of TORS, as well as microvascular reconstruction. In addition to the common workhorses in head and neck, including ALT forearms and fibulas, I perform scapulas, lateral arm, and even rectus flaps and look forward to showing you some of those techniques if you're able to come here for fellowship. I think the real strengths of the fellowship are primarily two things. One, we have very committed faculty who have diverse experiences, almost everyone trained in different programs, and this will give you the background and, and strengths to handle different situations and to learn a variety of different ways of doing things, which I think is incredibly important. As part of this, we have six microvascular free flap surgeons, which must be a record or certainly is at the top of the list across the country. And so I think you'll really benefit from that experience working with different people as opposed to just one or two people who are doing most of the free flaps. I think the other major advantage of our program is just the sheer volume. Our program is certainly at the top of the list in terms of the amount of TORS cases, which ranges from 70 to 80 per year, as well as free flaps, which is well over 250 per year, uh, which rivals almost any other program in the country. And I think to come to a program like ours as a single fellow, to be able to do 
the most challenging cases and the most interesting cases on a daily basis will really make you have the best experience possible. I know I benefited from this greatly during my experience at Ohio State, and I think that you'll have a similar experience. Besides my clinical practice, I'm also a researcher and have an active lab in head and neck cancer research studying tumor heterogeneity. I'm happy to mentor any of you on, in, in these aspects of uh, career planning, career development, as well as also work with you on research projects related to clinical outcomes and population level data sets.